Hi, in this episode, what we're going to do is focus on reading notes on the first string. And what's behind me right now is the two part piece that I wrote for that purpose. And the top line is the one with all the high notes. What I'll do is I'm going to put this piece as it's shown right now. And then I'm going to show a single line without the tab and without the two parts on it. So once you get used to where the notes are, you'll be able to practice just reading the notes without having to be tempted to cheat and look at the tab. So first thing we're going to do is look at the notes without the tab and then play through it. Remember, you can download the PDF files of what you see on the screen today and then come back and see if you can play along with this video. For this week's video, what I've done is I made a little melody playing notes all the way up to 12th fret on the first string. The whole purpose of this is to get used to reading and playing these notes on the first string. So let me just go through the C scale on the first string. So the C is right there, right? So what we're doing is we want to play all of the natural notes to get used to playing those. So C is on the 8th fret, which is one, uh, it's one fret higher than that, that dot right there. So we've got C, D is two frets higher, and E is the octave of that first string, which is on the 12th fret. So going backwards, we know that between B and C is only a half step. So that's on the 7th fret. 7th fret is B, A is, is on the 5th fret, and then going back, this is a G, and that's an F and then the open E. So how do you read those? This is the note C. So it's two lines on the top and then the dot is on that line. All right, that's a C. The next note above that is two lines and the dot is above the line, so that's a D. Now for the E, which is the highest note we're doing in this, has got three lines and then that's a dot on that line. Taking a look at this here, we've got C, D, E, and then we've got D, E, and then we go back to C, C, D, E, D, C, and so on. So the first part actually uses those notes to just kind of focus on. Using, using those three notes uh, before it shifts down to another position. So what I recommend is use the first finger on the C, use the second finger two frets higher, and then the pinky on the 12th fret. The next part starts off on the B, so B is on the seventh fret, and then you go, you go to C, and then D over here, so that goes down uh, there to the B again. And again, that's up to there. And then that's up to there. Now you shift position again and it goes to the A. So you start, you put the first finger on the A. What I recommend here for the fingering is one, three, and then four. So that there you've got A, B, C, right? So that's the C that we started with. So I've just gone down to there right now. So that's the E, the open E. But you stay, keep your hand in that position, ready for the next note, because you start on the A again. So A and B, and then go in C. And then you've got B here. A good finger in there would be to, to switch fingers and put the pinky finger there, and then you can go, you can reach the G sharp, which is on the fourth fret. That finishes there on, on the A. That's kind of the first section of this little uh, short piece. Now it goes starting from the, the E. So E, F, G. So these should be notes that are already familiar if you've been through the other parts of the YouTube channel or you've taken some of the courses that I've got on Udemy. So, so this should be This should be kind of uh, quite familiar by now. So, so A and then G, F sharp and G. So I just got to there. Now it goes back to the C again, which if you remember is the eighth fret. So eighth fret, 
you got C, D, and then the E again. And it comes down to the A, and then you got B, C with the third finger and fourth finger, and then you need to go up to the D, two frets higher on the 10th fret, and then back down C, B, C. So that's it. So let me play through this. Here we go. That's it. Remember, stay tuned and I'll see you soon.